Hello, English students. This lesson is about problem solution texts, identifying problems and solutions within texts. Writers sometimes use problem solution organization in their writing. The writer will first explain the problem and then give the solution. They may use specific words that signal problems and or solutions. Recognizing problems and solutions when you read will help you understand academic texts. Let's look at an example. In both cities and rural areas, food deserts are a source of growing concern. Food deserts exist where there are no supermarkets or food stores, so residents have difficulty finding healthy food, especially fresh fruit, vegetables, and meat in their communities. There are two basic options for alleviating food deserts. Attract new shops, to the areas or convince existing shops to include fresh food among their products. The city of New York has responded with an idea for the first option. The city has issued permits for small food carts to sell fresh fruits and vegetables in food deserts around the city. Not only has this program relieved the fresh produce shortage, it has also eased the problem of unemployment among New York residents who have had consistent trouble finding a job. Most food cart owners are new immigrants or people who have lost their jobs. So to start with, in the first sentence, the writer introduces the problem of food deserts and the writer calls it a concern which would be another word for a problem. And then in the next sentence, in the second sentence, they use, the writer uses the word difficulty to show, once again, that this is a problem. And then in the third sentence, the writer uses the word alleviating. Alleviating food deserts is solving the problem. So the problem is food deserts and if you want to alleviate that problem then you would be solving the problem. Okay another word used for solving a problem would be responded. So the city of New York responded to the problem. And then we have the word here in sentence number six, we have the word relieved. This is another solution word, a word for solving the problem. And then we here we have the word shortage. Shortage is a problem word. Usually when there's a shortage of something that indicates a problem. Here we have the word eased. Eased is a solution word, making something easier, or making something better. We can use the word ease for a solution. Of course, the word problem means that it's talking about a problem. 
Over here, we have the word trouble, which is another word for uh, a problem. And so altogether, when you are able to identify these different words and understand what they mean that, that these words like concern and difficulty and shortage and problem and trouble, that those are all talking about problems. And then the words like alleviating and responded and relieved and eased, that those are talking about solutions that will help you understand problem solution texts. Here are nouns that signal problems. Okay, burden, challenge, complication, concern, conflict, crisis, damage, danger, deficiency, difficulty, dilemma, dispute, excess, hardship, issue, lack, obstacle, problem, puzzle, risk, setback, shortage, threat, and trouble. Here are some examples. In the past decade, California has repeatedly faced a water crisis due to several droughts. The world economy has suffered severe damage due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Vitamin D deficiency causes many health issues such as hair loss and muscle pain. The dangers of exposing babies to radiation have not been adequately researched. And here are verbs that signal problems, to aggravate, to be subject to, to complicate, to confuse, to damage, to deprive, to destroy, to deteriorate, to endure, to exacerbate, to harm, to impair, to injure, to intensify, to jeopardize, to lack, to pose a problem, to pressure, to suffer, to threaten, to risk, to warn, to weaken, and to worsen. Here are some examples. The peaceful protests began to deteriorate into violent riots. Many fatherless children suffer from poverty. The nurse confused the identities of the newborn babies. Parents jeopardize the lives of their children by not teaching them to swim at a young age. And here are verbs and nouns that signal solutions. To address, to alleviate, to answer, to cope with, to deal with, to ease, to improve, to overcome, to relieve, to remedy, to resolve, to respond, 
to settle, to solve, to tackle. And then here are some nouns, relief, remedy, resolution, response, and solution. The government were instructed by the UN how to address the issue of the pandemic. The cool, fresh water provided relief to the weary travelers. The meeting was arranged to settle the terms of the treaty. She wears hearing aids to remedy her hearing impairment. So how can you identify problems and solutions in a text? Circle the problem and solution markers while you are reading. Underline the problems described in the text. Underline the solutions given in the text. And then analyze the connection between the problem and the su suggested solution. Try this. I'm going to circle the problem markers and the solution markers. And we're going to underline the problem and the solution. Before we show the answer, look at the paragraph carefully and see if you can predict which one is going to be the problem marker, which one's going to be the solution marker. Which sentences are going to contain the problem and which are going to contain the solution? So push pause, figure out your answers, and then check. And here are the answers. How did you do? The problem marker is the word challenges, and the solution marker is the word remedy. And these two sentences here contain the problem. And then this sentence here introduces the solution, which is a roof garden, and then it continues to talk about the solution, which is the roof garden. So this is the end of our lesson.